A pleasant morning everyone and this is Miss Rowena and right now I am feeling excited. It's because I am given the privilege to interview nine phenomenal students in Kingston. And these students, they have been competing. They have won in different competitions such as storytelling, Gizmo, uh, Spelling Bee. And they will be sharing to us the strategies, the preparations, and how do they overcome pressure, getting rid of you know nervousness when they are on stage. How do they get rid of the butterfly in their stomach, you know? And yeah, and you will get to know who inspires them to keep going. Okay, are you excited also? So help me welcome the nine exceptional students in Kingston. Okay, so without further delay, let's start the ball rolling. Um, I would like to say thank you. Um, when I am not very nice um they still support me when i am not confident you're there to support me to teach me how to be more confident or to make me brave and yeah that's all we must work hard miss Stick at the things that you're good at so you can success with. Work hard so you'll be able to achieve what you want in life. Right? Yes, miss. Okay, so that is the secret of success. Working hard. Alright, thank you very much, Jotha. Most people, like, they, they're afraid to join competitions just because they're afraid of losing. So, just don't be afraid of losing. And, like, when you lose, like, don't, don't be so sad. Like, just think that, like, at least you tried your best. Oh, very good. accept defeat as a motivation for me to try harder in the future and and eventually be the best. We I deal with failure by studying hard, learn from our mistakes, never give up and always give our best. So before the competition, I had to make a schedule between my school, my regular school, and my training. So I had to make time for making my homework and training by myself and trying to answer the questions of the, t the papers that are sent to me for practicing. And during the competition, I felt a little nervous when I was about to answer the questions. And after the competition, I had to wait for the results to come out and I also felt nervous. But I can uh, stop, stop it by calming down and thinking I tried my best. I feel very happy and excited that I received an award from this competition. And this is my first time to join this competition and I'm very proud that I get the award. Yeah. When I heard about the competition, I thought that I'm not gonna pass. But then um, my mom went to me and she called me to try joining the competition because last time when I joined, I didn't get an award. So my, I am nervous if I didn't get another award. Oh, so just like what Wilson said, you have to 
have this mindset that not all the time you're gonna win, right? But of course, we always we always expect to win. And of course, you know, you can get it only when you do your best. All right? So in every every competition, you have to motivate yourself. You have to tell yourself, I can make it. Experience. Experience. Um, because in every competition, there is always winning and losing. When you win, you you should like be happy, and you need to. And then, like when you join another competition, you should um. Uh, try harder to keep winning and winning every competition. But when you lose in one competition, doesn't mean you're always going to be lose. But you need to like work harder so on the next competition you don't lose. Oh yes, you're right. In every competition, there is always losing and winning, right? Not all the time you're gonna win. And then all you have to think that it, what matters most, it's the experience. Okay. I practice every single day and do the past papers before the competition. So when the in the competition day, I will not feel nervous. Uh huh. So during the competition, you won't feel nervous, right? So like during the competition, have you ever felt a butterfly in your stomach? Never. Wow. So that means how, you know, the confidence level is over 100. Right, Ivana? So since you were a child, you've been joining to any competitions. Thank you for that brilliant answer, Ivana. Yes, keep it up, Ivana. Oh, wow! Could you tell us about your achievements, Wilson? These are, I think, all from Maths Olympiad. That's one, the first one. The, how is it from Hong Kong? Mathematical Olympiad. This one? Uh huh. This one, yeah. This is right. from this wow. is Hong Kong Olympiad. Olympia then this two is the Seymour and this is the uh what do you call that? Um it's the piano competition. It's not ah. hats. And this is the Gizmo competition. A two? This is from the Gizmo competition. This is the WMI competition. W? WMI. What, the, what does it mean? World Mathematics Invitational. Oh, wow. Okay, so before we end this interview, I would like to extend okay, our gratitude for your hard work. You know, you are all our pride. And then, please never stop believing in yourself. Okay? Tell yourself that if others can, of course, I can also do that better. Right? Not better, but the best. Okay? Take note of this. Always keep the most or get the most out of yourself. Okay?